Uh, I'm uh, Antonella, Antonella Fresa from a company in Pisa that is called The Promoter. And we are the communication uh, leader in the Uncharted project, the project about uh, values of a culture, where we are studying the values of a culture, a sister project of MESOC. My name is João, João Teixeira Lopes. I'm a teacher and a researcher. I'm a sociologist uh, from the University of Porto, and I do research in sociology of culture, education, and uh, public policies. So I have strong interest in uh, uh, cultural policies. And I also belong to Uncharted, which studies, as Antonella said, the plurality of values in Europe, in the cultural sphere. Well, Un Uncharted is a four years project funded by Horizon 2020, funded by the European Union. And it is a project composed by academies, uh, in the domain of uh, social science and uh, history, and the only private company is a promoter, uh, that is uh, the communication agency. Uh, the scope of Uncharted is to look uh, at uh, the cultural values for, from uh, multiple perspectives, and this uh, gives uh, a lot of opportunities also in terms of uh, communication, because uh, we look at several, uh, a wider range of uh, different uh, cases. We are uh, less than uh, around the middle of the project. And we think that it is really the right time to meet with the MESOC and to discuss about the survey and the investigation of the MESOC. We also have the concern in bringing together uh, artists or cultural producers, if you want, cultural administrations, and communities, uh, let's say audiences. So this triangle is very important in studying, as Antonella said, the values of, uh, the societal values of culture, because they are not, uh, as we know, by Mezoc, they are not only the external or economical values, they are much more uh, diverse than that. We were asked to uh, participate in this workshop in order to give our point of view, our opinions about the results of the, question, the questionnaires that were uh, applied in MESOC project. And so uh, uh, it's a methodology that uh, uh, wants uh, the experts' opinions to develop uh, interpretations on data. And uh, so it is some, somehow uh, a, a, a deeper, view on what uh, academics and cultural uh, producers and people uh, from the ground said about measuring the social impacts of culture in Europe. For me, it was very important uh, to see how people, very different people from academy, from cultural production, how they want to um, work in another paradigm not in the neoliberal paradigm, because they uh, aim uh, to see what are the social and qualitative impacts, not only uh, quantitative and, uh, uh, let's say, econometric impact. Uh, they, they want to see how culture can work in social cohesion, in developing uh, contexts of integration, of social integration, and uh, uh, another uh, kind of relationship. So the social impacts of culture are so diverse that they touch the individual, they touch also institutions, and they touch all society by uh, those qualitative uh, effects. What we found out uh, in the reports that uh, we read in preparation of this workshop is that uh, there is a, a general consensus from uh, all the participants uh, in the different uh, areas they belong to, to the fact that the social impact is uh, relevant, measuring the social impact of cultural initiatives is relevant. And this is a good uh, wish for the future. And we need also to have in, into account contextual meanings. So you can only uh, uh, understand uh, uh, deeply uh, the effects of uh, cultural action through 
particular and singular contexts and through people's meanings. That is very important as well. Even if we need some common background and some common uh, information to compare.